Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today we are showing you our first impressions on the deck station for the Galaxy S8. Now, in order to use the deck station, I am using two things, and that is, besides of course my monitor right here that I usually view my camera in, I'm using a USB keyboard. This does not have Bluetooth, it can only work with USB, and it's plugged into one of the USBs right there. And then I am also using a Bluetooth mouse, which is also allowing me to work with it. All right, now that being said, let's zoom in a little bit just so you guys can get a better view of the actual display. But this is all being done from the computer and from DeX. So with this, I really get a full PC-like experience. I can have two apps open at the same time, so I can double click this and open up my display and I can go and continue trying to find the perfect desktop that I will buy. I can not snap it, which is my biggest thing that Samsung, you have to be able to allow me to snap uh, my apps, but I can resize it annoyingly uh, so that it is about halfway and then it's resized to that and then I can go and use my Google Docs to then type over here. So, and doing this, it looks really good. So I can, you know, even give it a little bit less space. I don't need too much space for my document. So I can resize it like that, give a little bit more space in my web browsing. But this is all manual. Typing is really good. I can easily see myself typing a you know, document on this side while I use this on this side, so really simple and easy. But there are some things that I am noticing uh, that is not made for it. So first of all, not all apps are made for Dex. Now what do I mean by that? I mean, say if I go into my Netflix. Netflix cannot maximize your screen, so that's a little, you know, a little bit much for Netflix. However, I can actually go like this and actually have it um, not fill up the entire screen, but I can have it here and then say have my, again, my web browser over here. And so I can have like a little floating video. So that's kind of nice for Netflix. Same with Hulu. The only one that actually does go full screen is uh, Play Movies. So that one can actually go full screen. And I can watch all of my movies that I have purchased from Google. Uh, same with the Play Store, I can have my full Play Store app and I can install apps, so just to see how they look like. Uh, you have all of your apps down here on the bottom left, and this is where you can search for more apps, so I can type in and search for, as I was earlier, search for Instagram, and it popped up, and there's my Instagram, and I'll like this photo, yay. So you have that there, really simple and easy to be able to do. And all the apps do work with like a mouse scrolling wheel very easily. Um, and you can go on YouTube and you can go on different apps. You can accept calls and it takes calls from the speaker phone. Uh, of course, remember you can't plug in Bluetooth headphones to it. So if you do want to do that, that's going to be able to. But on the bottom of the phone, the headphone jack is covered up. So you're not going to be able to get to the headphone jack since it's on the bottom. So you will not be able to get to there. Pretty much all these apps work very seamlessly, which is what I really like about it. Um, but there is a big thing that I was very upset with, and that is that for Microsoft Office, you actually cannot have, uh, you cannot edit anything or create anything here uh, without a 365 subscription. So if I try to double click here, it requires a 365 for me to have to activate it and there's no way in hell I'm doing that. So what are your other options? Well, uh, in the apps for Dex section right here, you can see all the different apps that are, you know, made for Dex that are, we're going to work perfectly for Dex. And by the way, if you're wondering with Skype, yes, you can still use the front camera on the phone. So you still have access to that. Um, so you can, you know, live video chat but you can download HandCom Office, which will allow you to then edit and create Word, PowerPoint, Excel documents. And I never really had too much issue with it beforehand. It does really work seamlessly, uh, like Microsoft Office does, 
but it is something different and you know you just never want to run into that where it just might mess up the formatting a little bit but for those with uh, VPNs uh, that they would normally have to do on their work laptops well you can just open up your email right here and not need to sign in you're just already signed in so that's really great I really love that ability and uh, the other thing is of course you can still use Google Docs which is what I was using earlier with here so this is a Google Doc format and I'm able to type that up right here so you can still use Google Docs or that so either one is going to work fine all in all I do like a lot of the abilities with Dex um, I biggest gripe would be that I need to be able to snap uh, my um, my windows that's gonna be the biggest thing so I can get an easier split screen uh, capability but other than that uh, Microsoft screw you for trying to make us pay for a 365 subscription when we don't have to pay to open up a document or edit a document on our phone because F you I'm not gonna do that uh, but yeah, other than that, I really have liked it. I like the ability that it gives you, that you can scroll again with your mouse. Oh, uh, big thing on games. Games do pretty much not work. So like when I open Mario, I don't know if it'll reset it. Uh, yeah, it looks like it'll reset it. But uh, if I did try to uh, launch game, it doesn't work properly. So some games don't just launch at all. Uh, what was one that didn't launch? Um, uh, so Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links launched but didn't work properly. It was like all bizarre. Um, Office uh, Space doesn't launch at all. So there are games effectively, as far as I can tell, I have not had a game run properly. Uh, the best one was uh, Arkham Asylum or Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, and this one uh, did launch and I was able to click on it, but I can't... Uh, you know move around so it's pretty much useless you cannot play the game that way so those are uh, my main first impressions from it I will uh, review it more again let me know what apps you want me to test on this to kind of see oh what's gonna be the best overall and overall yeah guys really like it uh, almost every single uh, uh, website by the way defaults to the desktop view which I really love so yeah, really like this uh, feel of it and really like just how it overall works just like a computer. So I love that um, just simplicity and it makes me feel like I'm on a desktop. And again, the main part I would see this as a benefit for is for people that work at a cubicle. I feel like if you go every day to a workstation, this is just another way for you to be able to have the ability to have this dock right here, dock your phone to the second in, um, HDMI input that's on your monitor already, and then type up documents. If you're in real estate, you have all your photos here. You can immediately attach your emails, type up long emails, anything like that. Really good for those kind of purposes. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What could you see this used for, and what other things would you want me to test out to see how certain apps work or not? Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.